doctors. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Muscle work on the hip flexors can be kind of tricky. So I'm going to go over a technique that has worked well for me. What we want to do is have the patient laying supine. We're going to be working on the right leg. We're going to passively flex the hip and flex the knee. You want to get your hand securely under the proximal calf and then secure the lateral lower leg of the patient up against your side and then you're going to contact you're going to use the, the the pad of your thumb and you're going to contact the hip flexors you only want to use mild pressure you don't have to use a lot of pressure some people may be ticklish in this area so if that's the case and then just use a little bit more than mild pressure because usually that helps but what we're going to do is contact that hip flexor and then passively flex the knee and then extend the hip and extend the knee. Work real slow. Keep the pressure applied in that same spot throughout the entire repetition. And then once you have completed two or three repetitions, you can move your thumb to a different spot on the hip flexor and repeat. This is an excellent way to reduce muscle tension in the hip flexor muscles. Again, you're just applying mild pressure and then you're moving the muscle underneath the pressure from your thumb.